Nancy Doyle specializes in finding the hidden talents in people on the extreme end of the neurological spectrum. People with neurodiverse conditions like Tourette um, tend to have strengths but a lot of weaknesses as well um, and what they've been paying attention to is all those weaknesses but what I'm going to hopefully do today with Paul is draw out what those strengths are and what those might look like in a, in a career choice. Mm. Paul. Hiya. Hi. Nancy. Hi. Nancy. Nice Come to meet you. Hey. Fuck. Mm. It's a bit of a mess. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Hey. Take a seat. Paul. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey. Um, so. You are gorgeous. Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you've got lovely legs. <laughs> hey. Thank you very much. The plan is to go through these <clears throat> cognitive tests, <clears throat> and then consider those in relation to work that you might yeah. do. Huh. Huh. The first one we're going to do is <clears throat> block design. This is the picture, and this is how you make the blocks look like right. the picture. Yeah. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'll be testing Paul on a range of skills and these will include perceptual reasoning which is how well he can analyse situations visually. Pretty shit. It was pretty good actually. And make sense of patterns. <clears throat> but also verbal skills. Um, in I, what way are um, a fly and a tree alike? A fly and a tree? Yeah. Uh, can I just have... Yeah. Do you want to just stop and have a little stretch and walk about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope you can... Hey! Right. <clears throat> OK, now I'll do the scoring, um, and then we'll come back and talk about it in a minute. Since Paul's diagnosis, all doors to work have been closed for him. Can I go home? Ah. Mm -hmm. Nancy's results could hold the key to types of work he could actually excel at. <clears throat> OK, so... Perceptual reasoning, you've got an IQ of 123, which is in the top 6%. Those are really, really right, strong good. scores. Hey, hey. You know, you've got a higher ability than most mm. to think about shapes, space, <sighs> where things fit together yeah. um, and how they, um, how they work. I'm pretty creative in mm. uh, visualising things. <clears throat> when my Tourette started, I didn't leave the house for like three months, so Carol she bought me a little compact camera. Mm -hmm. I just went out and I got some cracking shots. I, I can visualise images, so I wondered how that would how fit. It's not a surprise that you're mm -hmm. good at photography or art at all. Mm -hmm. You know, those are without doubt mm -hmm. your outstanding abilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there are plenty of ways to make a, a living from that, actually. He's in the top 6% of the population for his ability to, to make sense of pictures and shapes, and that really tallies with his interest in photography. But it's a really competitive field, and he needs to go out and see whether or not there's a market out there for his skills. See you, later, see you later, Paul. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Have a safe journey. Bye. Hey, hey, don't get pissed. <laughs> Sorry. For somebody to actually <clears throat> come out and say things like that, it's, it's pretty good for my self esteem. Hey, <clears throat> give me more ammunition to succeed. I'm not going to let it go to my head. <laughs> uh, but it's a good confidence boost.